guys, I spent, I spent a lot of coin. I spent a lot of coin. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. For today's video, we're going to do something that I have been doing for every single month this year. It is my monthly K-pop update, but this month is going to be a little bit different because I actually don't have my albums with me. All of my albums are back home in Massachusetts. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, I am studying abroad here in Seoul, South Korea, but something happened with my family and I needed to go back home really, really suddenly. And when I went back home, I decided to take all my albums home because I did some freaking damage. Guys, this is probably the most monumental month in my collection thus far that I have done damage for. I bought 50 albums this month, guys. Five, zero, 50 K-pop albums. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys how much I spent until the end of this video, so if you guys are curious on how much 50 album costs in Korea, you guys can wait for the end. Um, and yes, I'm going to be going through each album that I bought. I actually create a list every month, so I have my list with me, and I'm going to put up um, pictures on the screen of what the albums look like, and then on this side of the screen, or vice versa, I'm not sure yet, I will put how much it costs. Um, I will be talking about the cost, though, and I'll be telling you guys roughly where I got everything, and yes, Get excited, I spent a lot of money this month on K-pop. I'm super excited though because I made a lot of different dents and my collection and I started new collections and it's super, super nice, so yeah. Actually, for the amount that I spent on 50, it's not that bad. Like honestly, I'm not that mad at it. Um, if I had spent 50, if I had bought 50 albums in America, it would have been a lot more money. So yes, let's get right into the video because it's going to take a long time for me to talk about all of these. And yeah, um, I bought these from a lot of different places. So I will try my best to say where I got everything. But if I forget a store, I'm sorry. So the first album I got was one of these comeback album. I don't even remember what it's called. I don't remember. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna remember any of the names of these albums, guys. Please bear with me. Um, I don't remember. But I bought one of this comeback album. I bought it at a K-pop store called Sinada, I think. Um, and it was 14,900 won or $12. The next one I got was X1's debut album. I think I bought another B-Song. If I remember correctly, I bought another B-Song version. Um, and it was 14900 and I bought it at Sinada as well. And then I went to a used bookstore, um, not Aladdin. I've talked about Aladdin a lot on my channel, but it wasn't Aladdin. It was just like a random used bookstore. And they were selling albums just like on the street um, for 3000 won each. They were $2.57 each. So I got all of them. I bought nine albums and I got them for 27000 won altogether. So like close to like 20 close to like 21-ish dollars, I think. I'm not sure. I can't do math right now. It's way too early. But um, I bought VAV's Thriller Killer album. I bought Astro's Spring... No, no, no. Summer Vibes <laughs> album. I bought EXO Coco Pop, the B version and the private version. And then I bought an Uptension album, which I have no idea what the name of it is. I am so sorry, guys. I'm going to try to find a picture, but if I can't, it's red. That's all I remember. Um, and then I bought GOT7. I really should have put the names of these albums, but it's like uh, the one that hard carries on. I bought that one. I got Very Very's uh, Variable <laughs> album. I have that one still. And then I bought The Boys. I bought two versions of Dreamlike. I bought the, I don't remember, the yellow one and the white one. I don't remember what the names are, but I'll put them up on the screen. So yes, I got nine albums there. No inclusion, so like no photo cards and stuff, but I think it's a really convenient way if you guys want to buy an album, but you don't really care about the photo cards to get them. Plus, um, for me, I'm going to go back and buy like for the boys, um, their photo cards go for pretty cheap on eBay. So if I buy like my biases photo card and then the 3001 album, it comes out to less than what an actual album costs. So it's pretty good, pretty convenient. And yeah, it was pretty nice. Um, the next two albums that I bought were TXT's The Dream Chapter Star. I pre-ordered these off of Big Hit's website and it was $28.03. Um, such a good album, I <laughs> highly recommend. And then I also... I don't remember when I, yes, I bought another set of these albums as well. So I actually have four copies of the Dream Chapter Star. So it was an extra $28.03 because it was the same thing. Those are a little bit more expensive because they have to be shipped, but yes. Um, and then the next couple of albums that I bought were 80s. I bought, I think in total like 12 or 13 copies of their album. I'm going to have to double check, but 14. I bought 14 copies of their album. Okay, okay. I pre-ordered two copies off of My Music Taste, um, and they were $28.75. And then I bought two in Myeongdong at the Myeongdong Underground Shopping Center, and they were 
25,000 won for the pair. And then I bought six for the fan sign that I entered um, and they were 117,000 won um, and I bought six of them. And then I bought two more at Aladdin, which is another used K-pop store and they were 10,900 won each. Um, so like $9 each. So I bought 14 copies. I'm gonna have everything like here or here. Like I'll explain it all. But yes, I bought 14 copies of ATZ's brand new album um and then for number 16 i bought a new east album at aladdin which is the used k-pop store it was happily ever after the dark blue version and it was 6,600 won. it came with one photo card um it usually comes with two but it came with one and it had minhyun so i was like i'm gonna buy it the next album that i bought was wiki mickey i bought the one that tiki taka is on that i don't remember the name of um i bought it at aladdin as well and i got um Yujong's photo card with it. That's why I bought it because it had Yujong's and Yujong's my bias. And it was 9,300 won or like $7. Pretty good. Uh, the next album that I bought was ExoCBX. I bought Schumann's version because I have never purchased Schumann's version. And it was the last ExoCBX album I needed to complete my collection. It was 11,600 won and I bought it in Myeongdong Underground Shopping Center. Um, and then I bought Stray Kids, I think. I, I bought IMU, the I am version, I think, because I wanted to see if I could pull some photo cards. And I did manage to get a Changbin and Hyunjin subunit card, which was so cute. So I'm very thankful. Um, it was 12,401. And then I bought Just Two's Focus album at um, Aladdin. So it was used. And I got Yugyum's set, which was super cute because he's my son. Um, and it was 10,301. And then I bought another copy of the Excellence album. I, this was the B Song version. And it was 10,301 at Aladdin because I could see what photo card it had. And it had Hangul's photo card. And I wanted it. I don't know. Oh, that reminds me. The first X1 album that I talked about was the B Song version as well. No, 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 the, yeah, 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 the B-Song, the B-Song version, um, because I remember I bought the B-Song version from Sinada, and it didn't have a photo card, so then when I went to Aladdin a couple of days later, it had Hangil's photo card for only, like, I think it was, like, I was $8, so I was like, I'll buy it, um, and then I bought EXO's Sing For You album, I bought Baekhyun's version, and it was 12001 um, and then I bought Eyes One's Heart Eyes, the green version, and it was 14501 at I got EXO's Sing For You at like a different K-pop store in Myeongdong, not like the underground station, but I bought Eyes Ones at the underground station. And then I bought O Sole Mio by SF9 and it was 12,400 won. Um, and then I got AB6, both versions of their new album Sixth Sense, the Sixth and the Sense version, and it was 17,900 each. Um, and then I got my first Kino album, which was super exciting because I've never actually owned a Kino album, but I bought the Wee Boom Kino, um, NCT Dream Wee Boom, and it was 19,000 won. They are so expensive, guys. Kino albums are crazy expensive, but I wanted to have one, especially because the new um, NCT Kinos came with photo cards. I really wanted to buy the Superhuman Kino as well, but I can never find it anymore. I can only find the Wee Boom. So I bought the Wee Boom, and yes. The next album I got was Astro. I got Spring Up. It was 11,000 won. Yes, so happy. I'm almost done with my Astro collection, actually. I just need Winter Dream and then three, yeah, three more. I need four albums left. I don't remember what the names of them are, but I need four left. Um, and then I also bought a one-on-one album. I bought, what did I buy? I promise you, the day version um, from Aladdin because I had Kang Daniel's photo card and I really wanted a Daniel photo card. Uh, and it was 9,400 won or seven dollars um and then i bought another copy of very varies variable because the one that i got previously for three thousand one did not come with any photo cards and then i saw it at aladdin with gehyun my bias's photo card and it was only eight thousand seven hundred won or like close to seven dollars so i was like okay i'll do it so i have two copies of that now um and then i caved and bought extra copies of nct 127 superhuman and nc2 dream we boom because they were pretty good deals so i was like yeah i'll do it um so they were both 13,400 won and then i bought the boys is bloom bloom um the yellow version because i have the blue one at home but um at aladdin they had the yellow one with young hoon's photo card um and young hoon is my second buys so i was like okay i'll buy it and that was like 7,000 won so it wasn't that bad and then i bought my first twice album which is super super exciting i bought feel special i bought the white version um and it was 16,300 won which is a little expensive but it's okay it's okay guys so i got that one 
And then I got another copy of NCT Dream's Wee Boom because um, I wanted to have another set of the album so that I could have four photo cards because my I don't like my binder to be uneven. Um, and that one I got M2U record, I think, in Myeongdong. Um, and they were having a sale on NCT Dream and on Stray Kids. So I bought one copy of Wee Boom and one copy of Mido. And they were each 11,900 won or like $10. Um, so yeah, I got another copy of Mido. Also, um, I got the... I think I got the clay one version because I think that's the one. Or did I get the Mido version? I got the colorful one. I don't remember which one's that one. Um, and then my second to last album I got was New East The Table. I got version two, I believe. Um, and it was 15,900 won in Myeongdong. Um, such a good album. And then the last one I got was I got Monster X. Oh, what is it called? Take Me There, We Are Here. No, I don't remember. The black one. I don't remember what it's called. And it was 14,901. So yes, I got 50 albums this month. Um, A lot of money and a lot of sweat and a lot of energy and everything was wasted this month. But like I said, I do collect and I'm in Korea, guys. I'm gonna spend my coin. It's just gonna happen. So yes, I spent a total that I've already told it up that I don't like to look at, but I spent 599,391, 590, that sounds so weird, like 599,000 won or $511.80 this month on K-pop, not including, I went to a concert every weekend in October um, and I had to pay for like merchandise at the concerts and stuff. So yes, I spent quite a pretty penny, but I did get to finish some collections, start new collections. Um, some things that I'm really looking forward to collect in the future is um, this month is like uh, Astro's comeback, CIX's comeback, uh, EXO, EXO's comeback, um, and then next month we have Stray Kids, so I'm super excited to buy those albums. Other than that though, I'm going to be limiting my spending, of course, because obviously I spent so much money last month that I still need to afford food and stuff. Um, so yes, I'm definitely limiting my spending. So far, I've done really well. I've only bought a few things. <laughs> Me buys eight Super M albums. Me, it's just been a few things. But yes, stay tuned for my November um, update as well to see how much I've been spending. And you can always watch my hauls to see what photo cards I get because obviously I don't talk about the photo cards in these kinds of videos. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do this update because I've done them every month and I feel like I would feel bad if I didn't do an update for a month that I spent literally the most money. Um, so I'm super sorry that I didn't actually have my physical albums with me here and that I probably forgot like every single name of these albums. But I hope you guys don't mind. You guys all voted that you wanted to see this video anyways. So thank you guys for voting because I really wanted to do this video. Um, when I get home in December, I'm going home December 21st. Um, for those of you guys who don't know, um, for Christmas break, um... I will be doing an updated album collection because I know that you guys like to watch those videos and I know that I have gotten a lot of new things that you guys have not seen, especially all of these albums, like you guys haven't seen them in my collection. And I'm going to be doing a reorganizing my album collection and then I will be doing a reorganizing my photo card collection. I tried to film one when I was home, but um, I had to go home for a funeral. so. There wasn't a lot of time to do that kind of stuff, like K-pop related things. I was, it was a lot of time spending time with my family. Um, so yes, I tried to film one. It came out super, super bad. If you guys still want to see a really, really crappy photo card, I'm um, updating my photo card binder collection video. Let me know and I'll post it. But if not, I will just hold off and do a separate one for when I go home again because I have collected quite a few photo cards already and I know I will collect some more. So yeah, thank you guys so much for keeping up with me and supporting me. Uh, I work really hard on content for this channel and I hope you guys can see that. I am trying to, from now on, post every day. Um, that's something that I've always wanted to get to but I could never do in California because school was really hard here in Korea school is difficult but I have a really easy schedule where I feel like I have more time to you know make content for you guys like today is one of my off days so I'm going to be filming I think four or five videos today to keep in the back burner to always have content for you guys um so yeah I hope you guys can see that I'm really really putting an effort for this I want this to be something that I can do long term for you guys but yeah i love you guys thank you guys so so much for the constant support um you guys mean the absolute world to me and i'll see you guys in the next video